Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On Point EDC. Today we have a really cool review for you from the brand TI2 Design. Uh, essentially, they're a custom pen and kind of miscellaneous milled goods maker um, that produce really cool stuff. And I've had my eye on this pen for quite some time and I'm really excited to share it with you now. Now, uh, of course, this is a custom pen. Some key comic characteristics and design language you're going to want to think of when you're looking for a custom pen. Of course, you're going to want that unique design language. Uh, you know, there's no reason to get something that looks like everything else. And I think that uh, this definitely does hit that. And then, of course, you're going to want some type of uh, fun kind of fidgetable actuation. Um, and then premium materials and construction, which I think this has it all. And the nice thing is I think it actually t does a different take on your typical, you know, kind of bolt action pen or, or really just kind of, you know, your basic clicker because this actually has a cap. And then the cap that it uses isn't just some screw on, it actually is magnetic. So there is a little bit of kind of fun fidgety play factor to it where you can kind of mess around with it and, and actually, um, I guess you can kind of have your own way of, of uh, doing clicks essentially. Um, so yeah, I think this is actually a very cool piece and it fits in very nicely with kind of my stable of custom pens uh, that you guys have seen on the channel. And I think this one is has a really cool case that it makes for uh, why it should be in your pocket. So with all that said, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Okay, now before we jump in, I'll do a quick customary wristwatch check. This is, of course, the Archimedes Outdoor Anti-Mag, and I have to wear this uh, because I do uh, love, of course, um, you know, mechanical watches. But one thing that most mechanical watches uh, suffer from is, uh, you know, they're susceptible to having their uh, movements magnetized uh, from magnetic fields. The nice thing is here is although there's a very powerful magnet in here, I don't have to worry about it doing anything to this watch because it's actually meant to be uh, resistant to magnets. So there's quite a strong magnet on there and it's not actually going to mess anything up within this watch because the watch uh, actually uh, has anti-magnetic properties built into the way that they cased the actual movement so it works out. So a good pairing. So that would probably be one of the, the negatives about this watch. Uh, of course, if you do have a lot of mechanical watches and they're not, <laughs> Uh, particularly uh, anti-magnetic, then you'll have to be careful carrying a piece like this and just even storing it at your desk um, if it's going to be anywhere near, uh, of course, automatic uh, movements. But uh, let's go ahead and get into some of the details. So this is the Techliner Twist Shorty, and of course this is in the fully titanium, and this is with the twist grip. As you can see, the knurling on there has that very nice kind of twisty look. And then for you to take off the cap, you do have, and really nicely you can see here is it's actually quite symmetrical when it comes to this tip versus the end cap tip. Um, and then you do have the really nice uh, drafter, drafting style tip there where it has the flat with no taper. So you can really get a precise look at where the tip is and what the tip is doing, which is really nice. Then of course with the magnets, that's just going to go on. And it takes about two pounds of pressure, so you don't have to worry about that coming off. Essentially, you need two pounds of constant pressure. Even if you have it all the way up to, if, if you even get this far on it, it wants to, it wants to reattach. All right, guys, so I don't think you have to worry about that coming off anywhere. Um, at least, you know, not in my eyes. I, I don't really don't see how if this getting caught on something. Well, okay. Besides me pulling it off with my nail, um, I don't think it's going to be caught on anything to, uh, to to really make it fall off or anything like that. Um, yeah, and I think that's that's nice. It's kind of a fun thing. Sure, I don't think there's many people who are like, oh man, uh, what do I do with my cap? I wish it was magnetized or something. I don't think that people were necessarily asking for this, but I think when it comes to kind of fun design, it's you're not necessarily you know answering a question as much as you are uh, presenting a product. And I think the product that they have is really quite handsome. As you can see, you know, of course I'm, I'm left-handed, so this thing fits the hand really nicely. You don't have to worry about that pocket clip. There is gonna be a lot of protrusion 
um, when you do, of course, because the puck clip is lower. Um, so, you know, that's one of the things where aesthetically uh, it does look nice with that kind of, uh, you know, s the symmetry and the ends, uh, but that does end up making the pocket clip a little bit lower, although it is, you know, quite a deep carry. Uh, as far as the clip goes, it'll, you know, go basically all the way up to the end of the clip. Um, there's this part out, but you know what? The nice thing is that actually makes it easier to draw because there's grip there. It's not like this is some frivolous thing at the end of your uh, pen it's actually just really nice as far as size comparisons go uh, i'll pull out two favorites uh, uh, from the channel as you can see it's very similar size um to your urban uh survival gear ti scribe uh, bolt action pen and then also of course the tactile turn uh, bolt action short so Really nice, and then these are all titanium, of course. Uh, I believe this is actually a steel clip, though. Yep, steel clip because it's magnetized. <laughs> I can get the magnet on there. So the clip in here is steel. This one, no, this is all titanium. Besides, it feels like the the spring in there is getting a little magnetized. Um, but yeah, I think these are actually really great companion pieces to each other. Uh, of course, I think it has a much different aesthetic than the tactile turn. Um, uh, but as far as size goes, I did want to show you guys kind of scale wise how those match up. Of course, in the pocket, you're going to you're going to have that much hanging out versus this much uh, here versus here. Then here versus there. So you know maybe not for your blouse pocket though your shirt pocket having that much hanging out although that is kind of something cool to look at uh, but in your pant pocket or inside of a notebook it's going to be no issue at all but i would say aesthetically guys to give you an idea of fit and finish um these are very very close i'd say and kind of the execution factor there as far as the quality and even the tumble finish and the, and the titanium and the, the quality of the grip actually feels uh, quite similar as well. Um, and then even I'd say the, the shaft on here is probably pretty similar as far as the thickness goes. So I think, yeah, these are actually probably pair really well. So you can have one that requires a little click action. Then you can have one that, uh, you know, has some cap action to it. Now, uh, the total length on here um, is five inches and then the thickness is about nine and a half millimeters. And the weight is just about um, 0.49 ounces, at least for the TI version. So in titanium, it's just under an ounce. As far as in hand ergonomics, definitely very light, but, but extremely balanced. Um, and it's fun to kind of fidget with that magnetic cap and kind of play with that and have it snap back into place. Um, you know, and it's actually kind of cool too because it's reversed from the outside. So you can actually kind of <laughs> do a little bit of this action there and it'll spin back around or, you know, if you can't spin it, then it'll shoot it out. So I thought that was kind of a fun thing to do. As you can see there, you can do little magic tricks for your kids if you want. Uh, so yeah, there's a little bit of fun to be had there, as you can see, uh, you really want to uh, you know, talk about fidget factor. Um, yeah, you can kind of mess around with this piece and, and, and kind of play with it there. You can see. Yeah, only on this channel will you see somebody uh, using reverse magnets to roll a pen around. But, guys, let's face it, right? You're bored at work and um, you, you want something to kind of play with. This gives you some other options. You can kind of spin it this way, that way, and it's not threading on anything. You know, it's basically just going to be a little bit of a titanium on titanium. It already has a tumbled finish, um, so you can pop this up, have it snap back, um, you know, any way. Boom. So, yeah, I don't know. It, it ends up being uh, a little bit more fidgetable than I first expected. And, of course, I think the form factor is this is a cool-looking pen. It's 
quite handsome. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, let's say uh, I do need to have a weapon of, of opportunity. You know, of course, my Marine Corps mind always goes back to that. Can I use this as some type of tactical pen? Yeah, sure, I could. Um, I think it's obviously strong enough. Um, and even if I use it on the reverse, if I need to break something um, or just take this to somebody's eyeball, then then yeah, this is uh, this isn't gonna break off um, anywhere. This is gonna go in. So sorry to be so morbid, but you know, Marine Corps training it just it never goes away. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, I think this is a, a fun little piece. Uh, as far as model variants go, definitely check the website for current availability because there's all types of different grips, different types of materials, even different lengths. They have like a super short version, which essentially is probably something like this short you know so if you really want to get something small carry like a fisher space pen almost um you can get into that real micro carry for me though this is a really really nice balance as far as the fact of it being you know long enough to feel natural in your hand and you're not actually changing any of your posture to use it um but not being uh, so long that it's basically un uncarryable this is still quite carryable especially when you consider actually where it's the deepest it's going to go down into only this much is going to be in your pocket so this can fit pretty much in any pocket comfortably um now as far as comparable models go again you know there's a lot of premium edc pens on the market a few that really feel quite this refined and and, and good and you know i pulled them into frame earlier um uh you know as far as some of the contemporaries and uh, these are great pens as well, but I mean, they are a little bit more expensive. Uh, this is around 75. These are, you know, around 100. So uh, although these are great pens and I highly recommend them, especially if you're looking for a very premium, uh, you know, machined affair, if you're into basically, you know, high quality gear, if you really like knives and kind of that fine craftsmanship of custom knife making that definitely carries over into these pens as, as really the benchmarks I think in the segment um, and then you get something like this which uh, I think definitely fits in the same probably not quite as mainstream um, just because not everyone's looking for a capped pen because they feel like they might lose it or something like that um, but you can even get replacement caps for like 20 bucks so although that's not super cheap um, they are replaceable. It's not like you have to buy a new pen, uh, which is nice. So yeah, I'm really digging this piece, guys. Um, you know, bottom line, it's really well machined and finished, and it's uh, you know a very sleek pen in general with a real standout design. I love the knurling here in this grip. That uh, that kind of twist pattern is is really really nice. And then I can even uh, let's say I want to roll it over and, and kind of rest the clip in this part of my hand. It's, it's still nice. It's not like I need to immediately shift it around to find, I'm not searching for a comfortable position. It's pretty natural and just falls in there really nicely. So yeah, I got to say, I, I, I would probably never Google search, you know, magnetic cap pen, uh, to, to look for an EDC product. But as far as the design goes, man, this thing is gorgeous and um, it definitely stands out. And I think those kind of iconic looks of kind of simplistic minimalism, um, those are things that last the test of time. And yeah, when you're going to spend a little bit of money on a pen, um, you know, you might as well have it actually look good and look like itself and not look like a cheaper version of something else or uh, more jazzed up version of anything else on the market so i think that's definitely a real strong suit here um oh also the uh the insert that this comes with as far as pen is a uniball Jetstream sxr um and there's actually quite a bit of uh if you go on the website you can see there's a couple of washers i haven't taken this apart yet um but uh, there's you know some other pieces that kind of go in here uh, to support this mechanism with the uh, with the magnets and everything. So and it's not super simple. Uh, so maybe that might be another thing. But I mean, if you're somebody who likes to fidget around with stuff, you probably like taking stuff apart. You probably like taking apart your knives with uh, you know ball bearing pivots um, and and taking everything apart and and putting it back together after. You
you clean it. So I don't think you're gonna mind something like this uh, if you do have to, if and when it's time to change out uh, the ink cartridge. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked the video, please do hit a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks guys.